Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to the Gaming Flu and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix why Zone 2 is having stuck on searching for the match and how you can fix this up so let's dive into this. So uh, if you're for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe for these kind of videos. Let's move to the work now. The first one is all about you have to check with the activation status and make sure they're not going through any kind of server outages or anything. For this, uh, you know, I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this over here in the activation. Now from here you can check whether they're going through any kind of issues at all, whether they're having any kind of issues and you know, those can be understood from here. So you can uh, cross check and you will be able to understood in the older platforms right now the game is working fine and even the Modern Warfare 2 as well as the Warzone. So this is what you have to do as the basic step. So if they're going through any kind of outages and all those things, then you just need to wait because this has to be fixed from their end, not from our side. Next one is make sure that you're not having a good internet connection. If you check over here at the bottom, you can see that I'm connected to the Wi-Fi and it is working good. So I have to cross check that the Wi-Fi is working and it's not disconnected, this has to be connected. And if it's not working, if you have a doubt, you can try with any other Wi-Fi, uh, with any other Wi-Fi's and try connecting and make sure that internet connection is working good. Because it's a vital important thing that for playing these kind of games, we need a good internet connection. Next one is nothing but we have to try with restarting the Call of Duty Warzone 2. For this, we just need to go over here on the Steam, right click over here and go to the exit. Now we have to exit the game. Once the game is successfully exited, you just need to wait and you have to open the Steam once again. Once you open the Steam back, you have to launch the game and you have to see by logging in back in the Steam, you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Or you can close the game randomly, like you can close the game from here. Just wait, restart your PC and launch the game once again. And that did work out for a few users as well, so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about we can try with updating the Wazo. So uh, most probably you'll be getting the up-to-date option here if there is an up-to-date or else you can cross-check. For this we just need to go over here, right click and go to the manage, not the manage, go to the properties, go to the updates and here we have options like this, select this one. So the first option is always keep this game updated, second one is only update this game when I launch it and third one is high priority, that means you have to set the game before others. So uh, you should be always having a habit of keeping always keep this game updated because you'll be getting the up to date updates if it's going through any kind of update. So that's going to help you guys out for sure. So just update your game all the time. And uh, if you're getting any updates, just update it in the background. So once it's up to date, try launch the game. If any updates are there, just update the game and that's going to work for you as well. Next one is nothing but we have to verify integrity of game file. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties go to install it files and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a bit of time because the game is around 93.15 gb so uh, we have to uh, you know verify integrity of game file so this is actually a fix so if any files are corrupted if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step so you have to do the verify integrity of game file so once it is successfully done you just need to launch the game once again and most probably by doing the verify integrity of game file the issue has to be fixed for these kind of issue next one is nothing but we have to check the server online like i said we have to keep on cross checking ourselves if the server is going through any kind of issues so you will be able to find that all the platforms are working fine with the modern warfare 2 and as well as for the war zone so we have to make sure they're working fine in both the cases and uh, if they're going through any kind of outages there is nothing but we have to do we just need to wait that's what we have to do but right now it's all working fine even in the steam and it's all working fine even you can cross check i'm having the game from the steam so i'm gonna cross check over here and it's all working fine there are many players right now playing across the globe so there is no issue with that next one is nothing but we have to try with you should not be using any kind of vpn some users end up in having trouble when they used vpn so I'm requesting you should not be using the VPN. So if you're using any kind of VPN, you have to uninstall the VPN from there. And once after that, try launch the game. And last and the least one is all about, you can tr talk with the activization support if you're going through any kind of issue, they're gonna definitely help you guys out. So these are the possible workaround which can be tried when you're having an issue with 
Warzone 2 which is stuck on searching for the match and how you can fix this app and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos. See you soon next video. Peace out. Bye bye.